Hey guys, Matt here and welcome to another track guide thanks to Simrigs. This week for round 10 of the GT3 Fix series we are at Watkins Glen and it is the boot layout. Uh, the time in sim is the 1st of the 4th 2022 and 8.45am. We'll do our usual track breakdown, talk about some braking markers and some lines and also some notable parts on the track that we need to be careful of and hopefully I can help you guys improve your times and your consistency for week 10 at Watkins Glen. So let's get into it and let's jump in the car. Alright guys, so we're going to begin our siding lap of Watkins Glen. Decent straight to start the lap. Looking for the 200 board on the left hand side for turn number one. Breaking out the 200 board down two gears into third, trail braking all the way into the corner. As soon as we've hit that kerb, off the throttle, uh, off the brake, sorry, picking up the throttle, opening up the steering, and using a little bit of this off track. You're not going to get a 1x unless you've put all your wheels over that kerb. But it is definitely different to the um, previous version of Watkins Glen where you could run all the way off that kerb. It's been updated now, so you've got to be careful with dropping too many uh, wheels off that kerb. Not turning in too early for turn three, as it is blind, you'll end up on the curb. Still hard on the throttle all the way up from two, three, and four, exiting onto the back straight. Setting ourselves up on the left hand side of the road for the chicane. We'll be breaking out the 300 board down two gears into fourth. Wanting to avoid the inside curb on the right hander. Uh, cue clip and you'll see why. <laughs> Clipping the curb on the left hand side. As you've clipped that curb, you can be hard, full on the throttle for the exit of the chicane, letting the car push out wide probably two thirds of the way to the left hand side of the track and off the throttle once you hit that grey patch of asphalt. So as you're off the throttle the fronts will start to grab, slowly picking up your throttle and looking for the blue marshalling point on the right hand side. Once you start picking that up in your peripherals you can be hard on the throttle for the exit of five and you've got a nice amount of off track and curb to use on the exit. Coming into six, there's no real braking marker. Uh, you can use that concrete on the right hand side, but you want to be probably be braking 15 or so meters before that. That's uh, a little bit too late to make the corner. As you start braking, trail brake all the way to the apex of six. As you get to the apex, off the brake, not wanting to run too wide as you'll end up on the grass on the exit of six. Now we've entered the actual boot itself. Coming up to turn number seven, which is referred to as the toe. We're braking between the 200 and the 100. Using third gear, missing the first apex. We want to get a late, a late second apex to get a good run up the hill onto the little back stretch. Now we're in the boot. The sole of the shoe. Braking just before the 100 board for the heel, turn number 8. Using third gear, trail braking all the way to the entrance of the corner. Back on the throttle, opening the steering. Again, you can use a little bit of the off track here, you won't be getting a 1x. Now, there's no real braking marker for turn 9. Um, I use the rev limiter in third gear. I know that once I've hit the rev limiter for about, or maybe a second, two seconds, I'm off, off the uh, throttle, a little bit of brake and trail braking to late apex, turn number nine in the second gear. So by using that late apex, you're able to straighten the car up and be hard on the throttle for the exit of turn nine. Turn number 10, really fast. I don't use any brake for turn number 10 as I see the 100 board and just as the car gets to the 100 board, I'm off the throttle letting the fronts grip up and turn in and then hard back on the throttle using a little bit of this curb and for the final corner 
just after the um, blue tire wall on the left hand side down into fourth gear and being quite careful on picking up the throttle on the exit of 10, uh, 11 sorry as you might graze the wall on the exit so fourth gear let the car turn in pick your exit hard on the throttle but be wary uh, pushing wide you might graze that wall on the left hand side all right so we've done our warm-up lap our tires are nice and warm so let's go for a hot lap of Watkins Glen for turn one breaking at the 200 trail breaking into the apex Picking up the throttle fairly early but not wanting to push ride. Two, three and four, easy flat. Nice and easy on the steering inputs. And coming into the chicane, setting ourselves up on the left hand side of the road. Braking at the 300. Missing most of the curb on the right hand side. And now hard back on the throttle once we've apexed. Looking for that marshalling point. We spotted it. Now hard on the throttle using all the exit. Breaking at the 150. Missing the first apex. Trying to get good drive up the hill. Down into 8. Breaking just before the 100. Trail braking right to the apex. Using some of that off track. The two seconds on the rev limiter. Again, late apexing so we can drive almost straight out of the corner using that off track. And that curb on the right. 100 meter board, rolling off the throttle, letting the fronts grab, and then hard back on the throttle. And that is a fast lap of Watkins Glen. Thanks for riding on board this week, guys. I hope I've been able to help with your track knowledge of Watkins Glen, some uh, tips and tricks and some do's and don'ts, uh, especially one to look out for is the curb on the chicane on the back straight. Really want to be mindful of avoiding that curb on the right-hand side as we turn in. Uh, can definitely end your race quite early. Also want to be keeping an eye on those relatives and black boxes on lap one uh, and any lap to be uh, to be honest we know that the turns two to four at Watkins Glen can often be a location for quite a sizable pile up so we really want to be making sure that we're keeping an eye on the gap in front and if it's coming down quite quickly to be ready to take action as we need also as usual play around with your brake bias and your gear selections it will make a difference depending on the car that you choose as well so you want to want to have a play around with them and find what feels comfortable for you in the car that you've selected last point also is pit entry i recommend practicing a pit entry if you do need for some reason to take the pit entry maybe you've been black flagged for an incident um, it's also quite easy to get a another pit lane penalty for crossing the line on the entry as it's quite tight to the right hand side on the last corner anyway I hope that you guys enjoy your official racing this week and I will see you next week for the penultimate round of this series, week 11 at Monza. Thank you.